Well, I think the West Valley School District has a rich history of always caring about kids first. And that's what we want to continue going forward with, with this bond and keep making sure that we always put the kids' interests first and the needs of the kids first. Well, my name is Cal Ketchum. I'm the superintendent at West Valley School here, and I've been here for 10 years. So the bond itself is a $27.3 million bond that we're proposing, and what it will cover is a new middle school, and that middle school will approximately be about 36,000 square feet with the potential for growth in the future if we needed to. It's, on, it's gonna be on a 20 acre parcel that we're purchasing. And then there'll be about $3 million set aside for uh, renovations to the existing school. Quite honestly, right now at this point, our facilities are not good enough. We don't even have a place for people to park for events like concerts and things that we might wanna do in the future. Our learning space is not adequate to support the needs of our most high needs learners. We simply don't have the space that we need. If we are able to pass this bond and improve our facility footprint, we will be able to build a new school while at the same time invest in the existing school and increase the facilities there and be able to build what we need at that space too. The school that this community has known forever is expiring, and it's expiring at a rapid rate. We need more lunchroom space. We need more um, recess space. We need more classroom space. We need more academic intervention space. We need more, um, frankly, storage space at the very basic level. Right now, we are literally busting at the seams, and there is no end in sight. Our current challenges are definitely due to space and the number of population of our students. It has grown exponentially to the point where we don't have room for more classrooms and we have the need for more classrooms. The more students in a classroom, the less their individual needs can be addressed and you have more behavior management issues because it's just simply too full. We've even had teachers take out their desks. There isn't room for them. Old kitchens are being used as as learning rooms, it's taking every sort of closet room um, that we can and turning them into places to learn. So we need the bond to be effective educators, to have the students be successful. We need space for that. My favorite part of my job is coming to school and seeing all the smiling faces. Um, my students have to work really, really hard to be successful. And when you get that moment where you see them smile and connections are made and they finally make connections of, you know, the math problem or whatever skill we're working on, um, and their life got a little bit easier in that moment, that is, that is everything. Currently, we have multiple groups happening in um, small spaces. So um, at some point there's even different grade levels that are in one space and we're trying to teach multiple kids um, at the same time. Sometimes it's also a different subject. It's hard to focus when everyone is in one space trying to learn, when learning is already hard for them as it is. We are currently functioning in the halls and without buildings and it's just, it's not an adequate place for kids to learn and my own daughter is working in a little tiny space and it's just, it's not okay that um, they're so congested right now. I encourage the community to come and see our school, see the challenges that we have been facing the last couple years and um, just take the opportunity to see why we need this new building. As an adult now, I look back on my time at West Valley School as some of the most important um, educational times of my life. And West Valley School gave me such a strong foundation to go off onto high school, to college. Um, I saw classmates go off successfully into the trades and it was all because of the experiences that we were able to have here at West Valley School. And I want the same thing for my children. I want my children, when they're my age, to look back on their time here at West Valley School and say, I got the best education possible in a 
environment where I felt like I mattered with teachers who were able to have the resources that they needed to be able to give me the best education possible. If we kick bonding down the road another few years, the quality that we expect out of West Valley School, what we've come to see and know in terms of um, a small community feel and teachers that have the resources that they need and aren't burnt out and kids not being packed into classrooms, all of that's not going to be our reality anymore. If we don't do anything at this particular time and we don't change anything, we keep the building the way it is, the kids are going to keep coming. Right now we're at capacity. Right now, if we continue at that pace, which there's no reason to believe it'll stop, as we have 1,500 housing units planned in the next three to five years. That's gonna to continue to grow. Your class sizes will get larger. As your class sizes get larger, that means your teacher's, ex your teacher's workload becomes more. When the teacher's workload becomes more, they, they start to get burned out, they get stressed. And a lot of times what you see, you're seeing people leave the profession. And that's, that's, that's sad, because when you start seeing that, all it hurts is the kids. So if we can't, I know money's hard. It's always hard to look at money situations and think, oh, I can't afford this. It's almost like you can't afford not to.